Wow, okay, that's it for me. Melissa, welcome back to Out There. Okay, one of the greatest stories of the dark days of World War II is that of brilliant mathematician Alan Turing, who was hired by the British to crack the Nazi codes. Well, we caught up with a cast of the imitation game right here on the red carpet. Check it out. This war, we're not winning it. If you speak a word of what I'm about to show you, you will be executed for high treason. It's beautiful. It's the greatest encryption device in history, and the Germans use it for all communications. Everyone thinks Enigma is unbreakable. Let me try, and we'll know for sure. Congratulations Thank on the so movie. Much. You know, this is one of those movies that uh, people were resisting to make, and you kept on it. This is an important story, and this is a story I've loved since I was a teenager. Um, you know, if I wasn't the writer of the Alan Turing movie, I would have been a PA on the set. I just wanted to be a part of this. You have six minutes to complete the task. Is it even possible? No, it takes me eight. Five minutes and 34 seconds. You said to do it in under six. This is a time period where the kind of thing you were doing wasn't really something that women did. So it was yeah. kind of like a bit of a challenge. What, tell me about playing this role opposite uh, Benedict. It was definitely very hard for women at that time to get a place at the table. It's still hard for women in this time to get a place at the table. Um, I think that's why it felt very relevant. What is it that we're really doing? We were going to break an unbreakable Nazi code and win the war. Oh. Joan Clark spent a year getting into uh, the room that she was meant to be in simply because she was a woman. She was put in the kind of place of a secretary and all that, and, and she wasn't allowed to kind of use her brain even though she was absolutely as qualified as all the men and, and should have been there. You know, to pull off this irascible genius routine, one actually has to be a genius. Initially, you and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch's character don't get along. You and Alan, yeah. right? A lot of friction. You have to remember, these people were living at Bletchley Park. They were. They weren't, you know, it wasn't like they weren't coming in each day here and everything. The, the war was going on, they were living there, and they wake, they, the, the messages for Enigma started coming in at six in the morning, and they knew they had 18 hours to try and break this absolutely impossible code. Our patience has expired. No! If you fire Helen, well then you'll have to fire me. Me too. And me. You better bloody work. The writer was saying there was a lot of resistance to do this. What, what, what did you see in this, the gift and the talent behind it? A movie that celebrates differences in people. You know, it's irresistible to somebody like me who wants to not do the regular Hollywood movie. I'm just a mathematician. Sometimes it is the people who no one imagines anything of who do the things that no one can imagine.